Okay, we walked around to the user interface, and this is called Spider Studio. And for the advanced users, or for people who are very familiar with their product line, uh, it looks very much like uh, Christie Advanced on a different color scheme, but it was very important for us to keep all the handles in the workflow on uh, for, for spider operators who know are the most powerful software in the world when it comes to um, video processing. There's a few new features in here. We have a new uh, setup here where we are allow you to uh, edit your own canvas. So this is your 80 megapixel canvas. You can edit it by creating or whatever, however you want that canvas to be in terms of horizontal and pixel. It's always going to add up to the same amount of pixels, the 80 million. But from here, you can decide how you want that canvas to be. Once you've edited your canvas, then you're able to add pixel spaces, and your pixel spaces, you can uh, be anywhere you want in that canvas, because that's very important for uh, to have mullions here, if you want space between your pixel spaces, because again, the spider treats and refreshes all these pixels uh, at the same time, allowing everything to be completely locked together between all these pixel spaces. Uh, other new features are we have a new multi viewer set up here where uh, you can decide you can decide what you want to put on your multi viewer here you see in this preset right here as you see in the monitor right next to me I am looking at the all program here this means I am showing I am seeing on uh, all the pixel spaces here that the spider supporting in this booth here at ISC and I'm also below it, you also see these are my sources. So this is my confidence monitor. Uh, it also allows you to uh, go back and forth between other presets. So here's the presets where I'm basically seeing just program and preview, what a lot of operators remember as the operator monitor. Um, every output card on the X80 has the capability of doing a multi-viewer. And just like um, we know, these are command keys. I have a little script running here where I'm running uh, basically um, just some time queues here, just so it just advances from one queue to another. So when we don't have an operator sitting here for the booth, uh, things keep on going. So if you want to take a look at what's happening here dynamically, you can look up at our projector blend right above me, and you can see this thing happening right now. And here I'm just triggering manually and I'm just triggering between a few cues right now just to get an idea of what we do here with the X80. Uh, another new for the X80 is uh, an elect a much more uh, advanced EDID manager. When you have a lot of 4K 60 sources, and of course now you want to talk about either 8-bit, 10-bit, or 12-bit, you need the EDI management to handle this. So we have an EDID manager here where we have factory defaults EDIDs and then from here you can create your own custom EDIDs by just hitting the plus sign down here as a new ID you can go ahead and put in the resolution you want on uh, frame rate on uh, other advanced um, configurations and from here then you come over here and say uh, which port you want to put it on and you can select between HDMI or DisplayPort.